Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ayman and in today's video we're gonna talk about the new released software from ZXW team, the ZXW version 3. This is not a sponsored video, so this is an honest feedback about the online account. Is it worth to buy? What is different between the old and the new ZXW? Many questions. I will answer them all and I will give you a tutorial about how to set up and activate your account. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, you need to download the software from here. I'll leave a link below for the software. Then you go to this link. I'll leave it also below in the description box to create an account. You just type your username here and email address, account, uh, account password, confirm password again and verification code. This is a verification code. In case you see this error here, you need to contact your supplier and he will activate the account for you. After you registered your account, you go to login and then you put your account username and account password and verification code. I see all the sellers, they put this in instructions that you have to press on authorization code query but I really didn't need to do that. You just need to press on authorization code renewal, which will take you to the next page here. When you purchase the online account, you will get a serial number for the dongle and password. This is different than the account uh, username that you made it first place. This you will need it for one time only, but you will log in with your first account name that you made yourself. You will get a serial number from the seller, you put it here, then authorization code password, you put it here, then verification code, this is a verification code, and then immediate use, and uh, the account will be valid for one year from the time you press this one. So after downloading the software, if we open it, it will update itself, just leave it, and Stay with me because there is an important tip here that made me stay awake all night yesterday to fix it. After update is finished, it will open in Chinese language and to make it in English, you just need to close this one, then you go to this tab where is the letter S which is settings and change the language to English, then hit OK. Don't choose any server. If you choose a server, I got a message, an error, uh, server execution uh, error. So don't choose any server, just uh, choose English and save selected and OK, then restart your software. Now it will ask you for account and password. This is the one you created first place. This is the one you entered when you entered your email and password. This is the one you chose. So I will put mine. And I will press auto login and login. And as you can see, it's now active and running. So what I see the interface here is a little bit different than the uh, ZXW dongle. This is an online account. You can use it anywhere without the dongle uh, in the computer. You don't need to buy a dongle anymore. Unfortunately, the new release software will not work with the older dongles. So you have to buy the new account uh, to get the benefits of the new features in the software. I will leave a link below in the description if you want to buy the online account. So let's go to iPhone. Same menu exactly. This new layout is available for both the dongle and online account, but there is not too much information in this uh, layout, which has the two sides of the board together. Like if I will go to the older one, you can see I can get to the layers here, 
which is not available on the that section which is AP. The newer feature in ZXW version 3 account, it's a really massive update. If I press here, you can see this trace and where it goes. That's normal. But what you can see also, if I press to the layers, if I want to see the layers, I can see how this point is connected to the CPU. Like, if I lost this component, if I lost this one, and I want to scratch the board to get this via, now I can, I can get it. And I can know in which layer this via. Like, if I will disable layer 8, it's still there. Layer 7, it's still there. 6, 5, 4, 3... Two. So it's in layer 2. I can hide layer 1, I can hide surface lines, and I can see... No, I need surface net lines. It's in layer 2. Let's say I want to see this line, what it's for. I can press the line and it will highlight the uh, via for that line. Of course, the board of Intel doesn't have much information, so let's go to the Qualcomm. And let's see, we lost any point under this chip, which this one... So, the second feature, it will highlight the IC and will highlight all other IC which is uh, connected with this line and you can get it from here. So this I see, uh, this line is connected between the U3301, which is this uh, speaker uh, amplifier, and the resistor R2903. Okay, if I want to know how this one is connected to the resistor, I can start by activating the layers, layer one, I can see it's here and it's disappeared. It's disappeared. So let's continue. Layer 2 and you can see it comes back from layer 2. That means this via on the layer 1 go to here and then it goes down to the layer 2 and from layer 2 it go to it goes to here then from here goes to the resistor which is really 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 useful uh, tool or information it will impact the repair businesses because now we have more information about the board i remember when i first time bought the zxw a few years ago uh, when I open it and I just click this trace and it's connect me to this resistor or this capacitor and I was wow I wish I had this tool long time ago and now when I look to this I say oh my god I wish really we had this information before now we can scratch the layers uh, we can see what in this area before scratching it we can see where the our alternatives to get a uh, trace uh, or jumper for the uh, torn uh, off uh, or torn up uh, vias this is alone make the new account worth to buy i still have my zxw running for more five or six months but I'm happy that I bought the new uh, ZXW version 3. I'm sure it's, it will be very useful to me. So let's see what else we have here. So everything here is the same except I2C. If you press it, it will give you an error. Because ZXW team is releasing a new feature 
that you can check the I2C circuit by the software and you will see how the chips talking to each other uh, but this need to connect a logic analyzer to the board and to the computer and use the software and uh, I don't have much information about this feature yet but I'm sure that we will uh, hear about it very soon from ZXW team. For now the menus are the same all the supported models are the same nothing new I don't see uh, extra models supported. I just see here, dear Ayman Repairtech, this is the expiration date and uh, cancel auto login and renewal payment. Some information about my account and here some maintenance case. Some cases the the team fixing or fixed already, and they are just sharing it with the users. But I don't like to follow the solutions because. If you have 10 phones and those phones have the same problem, it could be from 10 different reasons. So I don't like to see a photo and I call it a solution and just follow it without doing my own diagnosis and troubleshooting. So what we have there more, like right now I, I can just click this one. I can just click it before in the dongle you cannot click this uh, you cannot click traces now you can click it and you will see what it's connected to FL J connector diode zener so let's go to FL and press the other one and where it's connect to two capacitors so I cannot see them here, so supposed to be in the other side. Ah, okay, they are here. So this capacitor in series, and then you can connect here. You can see how it's connected to there. Oh, that's, that's, that's a hell of a trace. That's in layer 7. That one is in layer 7. And here you can search by the component name and it will show you where it is. Uh, but that's like the normal search. Okay, port. That's like the normal fe uh, search feature. I guess it's, uh, it's a useless. This one nothing extra. This is the part name and the part name list. Okay, what is the uh, part boom information related query? That they have they have very bad uh, Chinese English translation. So they just tell you that the part name is uh, C1903903. The BOM info 16 volt 5% blah 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 keyword. What if we search about backlight? Aha, uh -huh. that's that's very nice. It will give you all the backlight uh, components. Okay, let's open. Yeah, this is the diode one, diode two. Ah, but you have to take care because I was an iPhone 6 and I searched for backlight and it take me to iPhone 7 Qualcomm. So let me search again. It's only one page. So why you didn't find the information in the board I am in. Okay, and this one. Okay, this is highlighting whatever the circuit I press. 
That's like annotation. That's nothing important in that one. Okay, connecting seat resistance. That's the translation about the resistance on the connector. On the connectors. This is the one. And hard disk resistance. Only hard disk? In newer boards like iPhone uh, XS Max, you can see that here we have some of the chips has uh, resistance values with the same crappy font. So this feature is not uh, available in all the chips. You can see here in the coil have resistance value on the crystal oscillator. Uh, that's that's a coil. That's a coil also. This is not available in the uh, dongle in the older uh, ZXW dongle that's only available in the new software but it's not uh, in all the devices it's not available for all the devices I guess let's uh, let's find here yeah here it's available in iPhone 8 let's see iPhone 7 Let's choose the Qualcomm version. Don't have in this one, but when you zoom closer, you have the line name, which is something new also. Okay, let's go to this one. Have the line name. So the resistance values is not available uh, for all the boards I'm sure they will update it soon have the line name which is really helpful and it will show you where this trace is connected to So we still need the Wuxin G dongle for the resistance and really I don't like the font they are using for typing the resistance on connectors. Here like it's, it's a little bigger but if you go to a connector it's a really garbage font very small and you still need the Wuxin G for uh, the resistance value under the chips let's go back here and again type backlight and it take me only to iPhone 7 Qualcomm I don't know why even I am in iPhone uh, 6 motherboard so that's not functioning uh, very well so let me type here backlight nothing so as you can see there is nothing much there in the new software is it worth to buy yes yes i'm i'm pretty sure that the function that the the, the option to press on the trace and to find out where this trace is going if you lost a trace where this one coming from in case I'm not talking about normal trace like you lost a resistor or a, a pad under connector you can get it from any resistor or anything connected to that trace which is nearby I'm talking about if you have a trace coming from the CPU and only the CPU and nowhere else or you have missing trace between the two chips 
you have cut in this trace between the two chips you can find where it is and dig down to get it and connect to it which is for me it really worth than a five hundred dollars not seventy or sixty dollars and you don't need to wait for shipping or pay for shipping or anything and i'm sure they will update uh the software very soon it just released two days ago i'm i'm thankful for zxw team that they released this uh feature and i hope that we have this feature for all the devices in the market and i hope to see more devices supported in samsung that would be very nice and uh, that's it i really recommend you to give it a shot uh, if you still have uh, your dongle and you don't need that feature it's okay don't buy it but for someone like me who is doing with uh, who is dealing with difficult repairs i really needed that feature and just today the zxw team announced that they give 10 days free trial so you can use it yourself and judge if it will be useful for you or not that's it and uh, there is no work for me here to be done but i will see you next one thank you guys have a nice evening